If you're trying to invest in the Cleveland market, I am your guy. Today, we're going to be going over this off-market deal, right? It's not on the market. You can't get it. Not on the MLS. Not available for public consumption, but it's available for you because you work with me. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Today, I'm working with my man, Chad. Chad, you're an out-of-state investor, and I got this popping deal for you, dog. It was on the market. Currently, it's not on the market. Why is it not on the market? Because I took it off the market. You see, listing agent listed it. I had a client, ordered some MLS shows just like you did, Chad. Saw it. I analyzed it. She loved it. Put it under contract. Currently under contract. We just got the inspection report back. She's done. She doesn't feel comfortable with the deal. And I'm not judging her. Hey, here's the deal. Everybody's got a varying level of comfort when it comes to properties. Old property uh lower quality neighborhood is it a perfect property absolutely not but the price point is way cheaper than it needs to be dude this is a smoking deal i reviewed the inspection report for the price of 62 and a half which is what we can take it down as dude property's in great shape for that price so it would be a mistake not to do the deal right so before the listing agent gets the opportunity to put it back on the market i wanted to send it to you brother so you uh, can let me know if you want to just slide into that contract at the price point of 62.5, close it out, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you with the original analysis that I gave to my original client. And on top of that, when I email you this video privately, I will give you that inspection report so you could have all the information available to you on this off-market deal. And I think you're really going to dig it. Let me know. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the wicked buy the doors! Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up this property, right? This is the good part, right? It's the meat of the show, folks. This is how the sausage is made, right? If you guys are watching YouTube videos or this or that from this guru or that guru, they're teaching you theory, theory theory but that theory doesn't always work in the real world that's where we differ right here at Holton Wise real property that I can represent you as your real estate broker then handle your property management maintenance insurance speaking of insurance right there right got that sign up there because if you are a landlord and you own property in Ohio hit us up I can almost guarantee you we could lower the current premium you're paying because I do not insure your boats I do not insure the family home you live in. I do not insure your business. I do not insure your car or your snot-nosed teenage son's car. I don't do any of that. All I do is focus on insuring properties for landlords as such. I've got this thing down to a friggin' science, folks. $200 million in real estate sales is what I've sold in the Cleveland market. So I know exactly where to put the pieces to get you guys low landlord rental property insurance so if you want to save money that way hit us up but now i want to focus on this property right because i love this property i love this neighborhood and i'm going to show you guys some cool stuff about it okay 229 gates avenue Elyria, ohio 44035 priced at 62,500. been on the market over a month 32 days Elyria, that is the key to this investment right this is a duplex okay duplex we got two long-term tenants they're also the key to this investment, right? We're in Cleveland real estate, folks. Cleveland real estate. So the fact that this property is in Elyria, that's big. That's why this property is priced the way it is, okay? People from the national spotlight are looking at Cleveland as one of the best markets to invest in for cash flow, okay? Cleveland, Cleveland. You got the Cleveland Browns, the Cleveland Cavs, the Cleveland Indians, or the Cleveland Guardians, depending on how woke you are, okay? You hear about LeBron being from Cleveland. This Cleveland, 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 Cleveland Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Check this out. LeBron not from Cleveland. Okay, LeBron's from a city called Akron, right? Akron is about 35 or so minutes from Cleveland, south. Elyria 
is about 35 minutes or so away from Cleveland as well, west. People don't pay much attention to properties outside of the city of Cleveland because it doesn't get the national spotlight. Y'all hear Cleveland, 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 right? This duplex, if it was in Cleveland proper, I'd be selling it on this show for a hundred grand. Okay, well, we would need the tenants to be at market rate, which they're not. But if they were, I would sell this, okay, for a hundred thousand dollars. So when we talk about this investment, it's going to be I'm going to do this analysis based on uh, you buying this as a buy and hold investment. But if you're looking to buy with equity, possibly cash out, I'm not saying it's like a pure flip. But uh, the metrics are there to make money on the exit if you only own it for a few short years, right? Because on my show, the other show I do, the Investment Properties for Sale show, when I sell properties, right? $100,000 investment if we got both tenants in there paying market rent. The reason it's so low right now, though, is because we got those low-paying tenants, right? Each of those tenants, they're long-term. The listing agent wrote it in the thing. They're only paying $500 a month, okay? $500 a month. These are not $500 units. Units like this, these are $750 units. So that'd be $1,500 a month, eighteen dollars a year. But this is the real world. This is Holton Wise TV. We don't just give you fluff. You ain't collecting eighteen dollars Or you ain't putting eighteen dollars in your pocket every year you own this sucker. No, you're not, okay? As a matter of fact, you're going to spend almost $9,000 operating this. And then when I say operating, I mean having my team operate it for you because it's going to be passive. My team will take care of everything. We are your boots on the ground in the Cleveland market, right? So 18 scheduled to come in, but things happen. You don't always collect all the rent. Every now and again, you got to evict people. This or that or the other, taxes, insurance, water, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, you should clear on average ninety-one twenty-two a year. And if you buy it at sixty-two five, which is what they're offering it for, you only put down fifteen and a half. Bank kicks in forty-six. If you need lenders, I got those. Shoot my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. That projects out to a forty-three point two percent cash on cash return or a fifteen cap. Now, that sounds amazing. Let's get into the why this is possible, because that's what matters. First of all. Remember, we're not there yet. We don't have $750 rents yet. We have $500 rents. What we want to do is slowly increase the tenant's rent. I don't have any photographs uh, of the inside of this home, okay? We just have some exterior photos. Just your typical run-of-the-mill C-grade duplex, okay? Nothing special here. But I don't need interior photos to tell you what I'm about to say. These are long-term, below-market rent rate tenants. There's no scenario where when they move out, you don't have to turn the unit, right? Not going to happen. It's not possible. That's just not how this game works, okay? They've been in there a long time. So if you turn the units, assume you're doing new carpet. Well, not. Re I, don't, I don't like to go carpet. If there's carpet, I want you to uh, pull out the carpet. If there's hardwoods under there, I want you to refinish them. If not, I want you to go vinyl uh, flooring. That way, on the future turnovers, you don't have to have that cost, right? You're probably repainting everything, and you might be doing new Home Depot, Lowe's quality kitchen cabinets and bathroom fixtures, right? So you should assume anywhere between 5 on the low end, 15 on the high end for your tenant terms, which is why it's very important not to do tenant terms when you don't have to. So I don't want you to go in thinking, oh, we got to kick out these $500 tenants so you can get $750 tenants. No, that doesn't make no sense, right? What we want to do is slowly raise the rents. Not go from five to seven fifty because they'll probably move out and then you gotta spend more money. But just do it slowly. Twenty five, fifty bucks a year, something like that. Slowly get them up to market rate. If you can get them up to market rate without a tenant turnover, that's how you hit those metrics I just gave you. If you gotta add in the tenant turnovers, of course your cash on cash returns are gonna be lower. Right? You're gonna have turnovers throughout the years. I budgeted for it, right? That's where the majority of repair cost comes. But you never want to add a turnover when you don't have to. Right, So that's one thing to keep in mind. And the thing is, other people may not know these are really $750 units. So that's what's part of the reason this price is so low, 62 and a half. And then the other is, again, it's not Cleveland. It's not on the spotlight. Not a lot of people are looking at it, right? So you have a lot of investors coming to the Cleveland market overlooking Illyria because they're not thinking about it. It's not on their radar, okay? It's technically in a different county than Cleveland. Cleveland is in Cuyahoga County. This is in Lorraine County. People might, be, might not be thinking about it. Back to LeBron. 
LeBron's from Akron, as I said. Guess what? Akron ain't in Cuyahoga County either. Akron's in Summit County, right? So it's very much part of the Cleveland market, but a lot of people don't know that, right? So we got a lot of buyers passing it over because they're not paying attention to it. They're not aware of Elyria, Ohio, right? Everybody watching this show, right? If you're a first-time viewer to this show, I'm sure you probably never heard about Elyria. You knew about Cleveland. That's why you clicked on the, the video, right? But you probably never heard of Elyria, right? So that's one. And then two, again, those below market rent tenants are holding it down. So we got a whole bunch of buyers overlooking it due to the locale, whole bunch of other buyers overlooking it due to the low rents. But we know the proper, smart, profitable way to get the rents up is to do it slowly. So for all those reasons, I think this is an amazing investment. I think you should definitely do the deal, and I think you're going to make a lot of money while you hold it, and I believe when you go to exit, you'll probably also make a pretty good sum of money because when I get a property like this on the Investment Properties for Sale show with the exposure we have here, boom, that's a $100,000 payday if those tenants are close or at that market rate rent. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.